Hey everyone, I'm here in Atlanta, Georgia at the Atlanta History Center. We're here to see the famous Cyclorama, which is this giant painting that was painted in the late 1800s depicting the Battle of Atlanta. Along with that, we're here to see some artifacts from Civil War history as well as Reconstruction. There's also an exhibit on the history of Atlanta. So follow me, let's check it out and see what it's all about. Signs signaling for social distancing. This is Abraham Lincoln without a hat. Painted in 1886. 17 artists. Five months. It cost $40,000 or so. In 1886 dollars or today's dollars. 49 feet tall. 371 feet long. Almost 18,000 square feet. 10,000 pounds. Six thousand figures in the painting. Let's count them all. And, and we're entering the cyclorama. It does look very, very large. Looks like this man has been shot, but he is continuing on. Or at least trying to. Everyone is ready to fight. Including this man. Who is barefoot. There is a little Easter egg in the Cyclorama. This is actually... Gone with the Wind actor Clark Gable, who wanted to be in the Cyclorama, so this is how they fitted him in. And there is Mr. Clark Gable again. Um, he's got an odd smile on his face. I don't know if I'd be that happy about dying. Abraham Lincoln and Andrew Johnson. Some will say Abraham Lincoln was our best president more will say Andrew Johnson was our worst president going in the Dubois gallery section of the Atlanta History Center it says that chloroform was one of uh things included in the army medicine chest of the Union. A few things from the battlefields that were uh, found. A canteen struck by a bullet and this belt buckle straight through. Um, does not sound like fun. Imagine losing your wedding ring on the battlefield and you come back home. Your wife would be I'm sure she'd be very upset, happy, but also very upset in this tree. I'm counting over five bullets, bouncing Bettys, however you want to call it. 
just some of the things that you would uh, see a soldier on their person as they traveled. Toothbrush, pocket knife, razor, uh, canteens, pots and pans, and this cracker. It says that this cracker could still be eaten if it was moldy or if it had been infested by the boll weevil. That's a hearty cracker. It says here, uh, Confederate soldiers would take the belt buckles of Union soldiers and wear them, but they would turn them upside down, signifying anti-Union. This is something that was also done with Confederate soldiers in the state of South Carolina. It would say SC, but they would turn it upside down so it would say CS. As I walked in here, I saw this lady and it honestly scared the living daylights out of me. That is one big Confederate battle flag. But that's one even bigger American flag. The ride Splash Mountain is based on the movie Song of the South. Unfortunately, it is going through some redevelopments and will no longer be called Splash Mountain. Um, the movie Song of the South did present some racial undertones um, that were somewhat blatant, but it will no longer be called Splash Mountain. One of Coca-Cola's first automated dispensers. Here's the famous photo uh, of the Weinkauf Hotel fire. Uh, this is a woman jumping, named Daisy McCumber. She actually lived this fall, um, suffered a few broken bones, but she ultimately lived through it. An old voting booth doesn't look too too much different than uh, the ones today other than it not being electronic this one you can pack up into a small little suitcase and carry it around a lot more mobile dollars a week, something like that. You couldn't see much when you were working as a spinner. The windows was way up high and dark, so you can't see through them. Just after the Civil War, reconstruction began, and this was also uh, a time where children went to work in uh, mainly cotton mills, uh, just getting a lot of factory jobs. Uh, and child labor photography became popular during this time as a way to get children out of uh, the workforce because they were working uh, way more than 40 hours a week. What's interesting about this photo is she's barefoot in a factory. Now this baby doll here is very, very creepy looking. The logos on these hair products, they, they look very interesting. The Atlanta Crackers was a uh, very successful minor league team. And for some reason, they don't want to wear pants. Attending all the Falcons games, I can 
almost guarantee you that I've used this machine before. Who said that? Let's see. The human requirements for medical care are not determined by racial identification and like disease are unlimited by racial barriers. Uh, I'm going to go with Maynard Jackson. Incorrect. Okay. Shows you how much I know about Atlanta history. Uh, the ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of comfort or inconvenience, but where he stands at times of challenge and controversy. Mm, let's try it. Correct. My decision to register women confirms what is already obvious throughout our society that women are now providing all types of skills in every profession. The military should be no exception. Let's go with... Jimmy Carter. The humanity of all Americans is diminished when any group is denied rights to others that is no, there is not a special interest case, but one that should be of great importance to everyone who believes in the principles of equality on which this nation was founded. I'm going to go with Jose Williams, but I could see it being Martin Luther King. Incorrect. Oh, wow, not doing very good. Uh, the outcome of the great work to which the best of the have set their hands will not be witnessed in a day or a generation. Let's see. I'm going to go with uh, Harris. Sweet. Uncle Remus. Got three out of five. Not great. I almost missed this little political cartoon. Uh, we looked at this in class one day. This was uh, women earning the right to vote and now dad has to stay home in the private sphere and take care of the children while mom goes out to vote. In honor of my favorite YouTuber, Jacob the Carpetbagger, a genuine carpet bag nineteen ninety two was a big year for the Atlanta Falcons it is when the famous Georgia Dome opened Atlanta hosts the Olympics I'm sure there are many people in Georgia that still have this newspaper hosting the Olympics in Georgia was a huge deal. Jeez. A few gold and bronze medals from the 1996 Olympics. Muhammad Ali lighting the torch. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. If there's another place that you want to see me document, leave a comment in the comment section. I want to thank everyone for watching, and I'll see you around.